day guys welcome back now today is two firsts for me I am using my prototype mold um, just to see make sure it's okay before I go into production so they will be available to pre-order in probably about a week okay so I'll give you those details later. So that's the first. The other thing is I'm going to use some of these little um, rounds that I made. Did you guys watch me do these? If you missed out, um, you can go back and watch the video on how I did these. And I'm just going to put them in the middle to stop them kind of floating away. Let's see if it works. It might not work. Oh, and the other thing. Oh, look, maybe this is three first. But um, I'm using my new resin. It's called Platinum Ultra Clear. Um, and it is really, really clear. Um, I've got some left in here. It's only been sitting for five minutes and there's like, there's a few little micro bubbles in there, but they come to the surface and you can actually just torch. So yeah, have a go at seeing how that is. It's super affordable. I get it on eBay. Uh, six liters is only $150 and that includes delivery. So if it works, Fantastic. It is heat resistant to 67 degrees Celsius. Right. Um, because I've got a blue mold here, like it's not going to, they're not going to come in blue. They're going to be like a white or off white color when I do get them manufactured. But as I said, it's just the prototype. Um, so blue, this is Artisu Sapphire. Gorgeous color. And then we've got this Kermit. It's a lime from um, Fairy Dust. Fairy dust? Pixie dust. I keep calling them fairy dust. Pixie dust pigments and then the white satin from Lorez. So put them upside down so you can see the colours. I thought they would go really nice together. Um, a lady on my group did my big um, tray and coaster set and in the, these colours for her um, sports, um, what would you call it? Not a group. <laughs> Got groups on the mind. Anyway, it was for her, her sports group. I don't know. Um, and they looked really amazing. So I thought, oh, I'll try that. Uh, I want to, hang on. I need to need to get, get them sorted. I want to put some clear in the bottom first. And I'm going to just push my little things that I made, my little centers, into the center of these. And I thought I would do them upside down. And I'll show you what I mean. See, the, the top is kind of rounded and then the bottom is smooth. So if I put them there, the resin will kind of flow underneath. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plop one there. Um, that one. I've got different shapes. Just and make them kind of all similar put them in the middle some of them like that one <laughs> I did when the resin was still quite soft um, and the others the resin had started thickening up a little bit so they are a little bit different so I'm putting them upside down so the flat side is on the top I think I'll use you there we go so that's them still got more to use have to do some gold and some copper right so that's them hopefully my uh, centers will stay silver right so the next thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to put a little bit more clear around that and as you can see I'm not doing a puddle pour today I'm going to just I think because the puddles create striations because you know you're pushing the resin down and it goes out and it comes back in again it does create striations so I'm just going to see if I can still get striations by just um, pouring in rings rather than the puddle pour so we'll see so that hopefully that is enough to um, keep the resin from flowing over the top. Again, I don't know if it will be. Now, I don't know if I should do my white next or my 
like go from the inside out <clears throat> or go from the in outside in hmm, I don't know um, I don't know uh, let's try the outside in let's go with the blue first I think it's just gonna all kind of flow in anyway I'm going to take these sticks out. They're going to fall in. Okay, and then we'll try for some green. And then the white. Don't go over my center. <laughs> Am I full yet? I think I made up too much resin. I made up... Um, now I'm going to try the other way with this one. The white. Oh no. No. I poured on top of it. Well, that's not good, is it? Let's just wipe it off. Couldn't do that if it was loose silver leaf. Hey. Okay, so maybe that's not a good idea. Uh, all right, let's try. I'll go a little bit more. Oh dear. My cup's full, you see. That's why it doesn't want to pour properly. We'll go around with the white first. And then we'll go a little bit of green. And then... Uh, it's a bit messy. This that's, that's not like me. I like being more organised. Okay, I don't think I like that. Let's go back to the original way. Go back to the original way of blue around the outside and I think because the resin moves so fast it's a good idea to do each one before it all kind of fills in you know rather than do blue around all of them and then the green around all of them I just think that we might have to just do it that way. <clears throat> oh, look at the white. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, let's try one with, um, oh, I don't know. I was going to say kind of pour on top. Let's pour on top of that blue, half on top and half next to it. And then with the white half on top of that and half next to it. See, I can move that now. If it's not quite in the center, I can move it. <laughs> cool. It's going over the top. I'm going to have to be careful not to fill it up too much that it is going to go over the top. This is interesting, this one. Pour some more blue, a little bit. I can't remember what I did with that one now. And then we'll go on the inside, try and be a little bit neater. The others were kind of all haphazard, but let's try and be a little bit more neat. Move you into the middle. That one's covering. I think I've, I've poured too much in. So that's the other thing. I mean, they're not very thick. So I guess if you're using these, don't pour it in so that the resin flows over the top. Rather, maybe do a clear layer afterwards. so that they're not too full, you know what I mean? Okay. This one looks as if it doesn't belong. I wonder if I can get it out. 
probably not. And then this one's overflowing. Mm. Let's see if I can get some out. Let's just put that there and see if we can soak some resin up. Not really. <laughs> oh dear. That one's just not working. I put too much in it. If I can... I well, can't really scoop it out. Can I scoop it out? Hang on. I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to see if I can scoop some of that out. I took the little centre out and uh, took a little bit of resin out and it was actually doing this little cool swirly thing and I thought I really like that <laughs> so let's do a little cute swirly thing see what happens let's move that white around a little bit <laughs> I like it um, now they're all a bit different, aren't they? Well, some of them are. I wonder if I can put that back in there now. Still got some resin left. I wonder how it would, I might even try with um, maybe a bloom and see how this reacts as a bloom. Mm -hmm. All right, let's torch. Okay, um, now what do I want to do next? I'm not sure, like to me this looks a little bit odd because the colour hasn't come in and touched around the silver. I don't know if it will continue to come in. This one I like, It just that one just looks a bit odd. I think maybe it needs a little bit more of the white. Not to overflow that centre, but just to kind of ground it a little bit so it looks as if it belongs there. Maybe. All right, let's put a little bit more of the green around. That one just needs a little bit more. All right, we'll have to see what happens. Um, I am liking that. I, I don't know whether I should maybe try and put my center back in. Let's let's try it. Let's put a little bit of clear in the middle. And just push that out. And then just plop the center back in. See if it'll just stay there. I wonder if it'll float actually. We'll see what happens because maybe that's a better idea like filling the whole coaster and then just plopping them in on top. I think though if you yeah I think with any of these because the the center is dry um, I think you're gonna have to put a top coat on anyway. So you know, so that it looks just all glass-like. Otherwise, you're going to see that that one's different to the rest of it. So I think that's what we'll have to do. Let's just, let's do a tiny little puddle pour in these. Why not? These are just a little, little extra fun thing. I really don't have much in the way of the green left. I guess I could make up a tiny little bit. Just need enough to, just enough to go in here. I don't really have to scrape that out. Mm. 
Okay, that's that one. I mean, I do have more resin. I just didn't mix up any more colour. And some clear just to fill it up. Push it all along and see what that does. I'll put a little bit more in. So I've still got, um, I've actually still got one cup of resin left because I didn't fill these all the way. So, which means I'm going to have to get set up and try a 3D flower with this leftover resin just to see how it goes. Alright, all those are, they're, they're looking good, even this one. Yeah, he's, he's looking good too. So we'll see, see how that goes. I guess, I mean the whole reason for me doing these was not really to do a second coat because you could always do your first coat and then with your second coat then you put your gold leaf in and you clear so it's not really saving me anything is it I'm still having to do two coats so <laughs> I don't know it's probably not not such a wonderful idea but look it was fun to do all right um, I'll leave it there I'll come back and show you what it's done in about half an hour Hopefully these have kind of filled in a little bit and uh, we'll see what's happening. I'm going to get it set up for my 3D flower. Hey guys, it's been about an hour. I used up the leftover resin to make my 3D flowers. So I won't know how they're going to go until tomorrow, but look at these um, weird little effects that's going on. Like I've seen other people get these and gone, oh, how did they do that? Because I don't, I never used to get that. See, they kind of those, I don't know, pillowy, cloudy, puffy type things. You know, instead of normal striations, which is straight, they just, they're really weird. I don't know whether I like them or if I don't like them, but it looks as if they've kind of all closed in a, around those silver um, centers. What are these little guys doing? Oh, very strange. Anyway, um, I, I won't video it, but I'll put a clear coat on just because I have to, because of the, um, the silver centers. Um, and uh, we'll unmold tomorrow, okay? So see you then. Good morning. It is unmolding time as usual. <laughs> now I can see this one's got a little bit of runoff there so when I take it out I'll just slice that edge off with my little knife there. The others, no, yeah, no the others don't seem to have any runoff. I must have just poured that one a little bit too thick. Right, it's really unusual this, um, this type of striation that I, I've got. I don't know whether it's from um, the mica that I used or if it's from, oh, that popped out nicely, or if it's from um, the resin, because this is a new resin. Now, carefully, carefully, you should not, know. do not do that towards yourself, because if you slip, you'll cut yourself. Actually, I won't do that. I'll get my clippers, hang on. Clippers. I get these flashes in my mind of things that are going to happen. <laughs> And I think, okay, let's not do the knife. You have, it, have you ever done that? Like you've got sort of this image in your mind of, yep, she's going to cut herself. I don't know. 
Right, so that's much easier and much safer. So there we go, little cuticle clippers. Um, and then if you need to, you can just sand the edges with um, a nail file or emery board. So this was the one that I, I swirled. But look, the center. Like, it doesn't look as if it's been added separately, does it? Look at that. Oh, it started raining. Oh, I've got washing on the line from yesterday. Look at that. Like, you cannot tell that that's been just placed there, can you? A little center that I made. Right, shall we look at the back? Here we go. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, don't like that at all. <laughs> all right. But I do like the front. That's that one. And this one's even better because I like how they've got the white around them. That comes out really easily too. I like that white section around there. But isn't that just amazing, that type of striation? Like it's kind of puffy. Instead of having those lines, those thin lines that come in, it, I mean, it has kind of got them, but it's more puffy. Let's have a look across the top. Gorgeous and smooth. Nothing poking out. Now, the other thing that I do like about this resin, with the um, Barnes one that I was using, the next day, like, I couldn't touch it like that, or I'd leave a fingerprint, but I can actually touch that. Like, you know, I had to put a glove on, <clears throat> and then the glove left fabric marks and things, but I can actually push on that and um, not get any mark at all. I have to check out these um, rock edges too, see how they're going. See how they've come up. It's a bit hard to tell. I'll have to I'll have to paint them. And we'll see how they come up, hey? Being my prototype. Because this is how all the molds will turn out. But I'll paint them and then I'll show you. Right, let's have a look at the back. Oh. Okay. Well that's better than this one. Probably because I swirled that one, hey. <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Look at the white. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get a wriggle on. I'm taking way too long, aren't I? Look. All right, pops out nice and easily. Same thing. Um, I probably shouldn't have added that extra green that I did around the edge because it hasn't blended as much. Whereas if I add them all together, it, it's a better outcome. But again, really smooth finish. Gorgeous. Get out this little heart. Let's see if we can get the little heart out. Oh, it pops out nice and easily. The hearts don't have the rock edge. They just got smooth edges. When I did my top coat, uh, I didn't show it, but when I did my top coat, I put a little bit of silver just in the hearts because they didn't have any in the middle. So, again, not much to look at on the, the back, but the fronts are really pretty. Oh, you're just popping out on your own, aren't you, wanting to come and say hi. It looks like a little eyeball there. <laughs> like a, it looks like a little lizard or something looking at me. Uh, yeah, you can't really pick up the rock edges. Uh, can't focus. But once they're painted, we'll be able to to pick up those edges. Now this was the one that I think I, I didn't pour quite well. I added, I think, I just sort of poured all the colours on top of each other. So I don't really like that, but <clears throat> might be better on the back. Ooh, that's weird. I've kind of got some um, lacing happening. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that one actually. It's like the lacing I get when I do my swipes with my acrylic pouring. I don't know, do you prefer that one or that one? I don't really like that one. It's kind of, It's got too much white on top for me. Let's get this one out as well. It'll come out really nicely and easily. So the white is... The more white is on top of this one, and this one, more white on the bottom. 
So there we go. Um, I'll set them up for a photo shoot. I'll paint the edges with silver. I do have a new um, Deco Color Silver pen, so I haven't used that yet, so I'll try that. Um, I'll see you shortly. Thanks for watching, you guys. Love you all.